Man. This is depressing. The incest clearance on the, on the 2DS. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> pathetic. Completely pathetic. This works, but it's broken. And all of a sudden, sold stocks just sitting here. Nintendo's doing so much better, they say. And look at this. Look at this sad library of games. Look how sad this is. Now look. Look at this. Internet download required. Wow. And they said Nintendo was doing so much better. Hmm. Wonder what's on clearance at Target today. Oh. 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 New 2DS XL. New 2DS XL. Already on clearance. Right next to all this other failed junk or whatever. Or cases for old phones. And landline phones and energizer batteries. <laughs> Look at this. It's, it's nuts. Mm, I don't think the Nintendo Cardboard's selling too hot. I don't think it is at all. Meanwhile, this has games. This has games. Can't find them on the Switch. <laughs> hey gamers, what up? It's Jake, straight out of the cheapy car wash, getting my car washed. Because it's the summer, and that means fucking pollen gets all over your car, so I'm getting it washed. Anyhow, let me talk about what I did today. So I ended up going to GameStop, to the, to the geek culture section that nobody goes to, because it's shit, and I picked up some fucking wallet for four bucks because Target was out of wallets. Anyhow, I walk over to the gaming aisle of Target out of curiosity, because it got the best of me. I'm like, oh boy, gaming. I better see what, what's the Nintendo section's like. So, I walk over to the gaming section of Target, and, well, GameStop was fun because I got this wall for four bucks, and, and I actually got to donate my change to Autism Speaks, which, because autism needs cured. So I'm at Target, and I'm fucking, Looking at the Nintendo section, you know what they have? They've got Super Nintendo Classics on clearance and unsold Nintendo Switches. They've got Super Nintendo Classics, those fucking SNES mini pieces of shit. They've got them, like, stocked. Nobody's fucking buying them. They've got them there, nobody's buying them. But right next to them on clearance, you know what they had? A 3DS. They had a 3DS. A 3DS, or actually 2DS. They had a 2DS for just, get this. Get fucking this, a 2DS for the low, low price of 55 bucks, which might have been worth it if Citra wasn't out. And they had all these Nintendo Labos in stock that were unsold. Like, nobody's really selling the, like, those aren't really selling like hotcakes. Nobody wants to buy Nintendo's cardboard piece of shit. But while I'm sitting here, and I'm seeing these Nintendo Labos unsold. I'm seeing all these Switches unsold. I mean, not even hacks and homebrew that let you run emulators on it can save the damn thing, because 300 bucks is an awful lot for an emulation console, and let's not forget that the people hacking it somehow make the PlayStation and, and Xbox nutters look sane. But the thing is, is, but the thing is, is they had, in the fucking clearance area of the store, Fucking 2DS XLs. I'm not making this shit up. I'm not making this shit up. They had 2DS XLs for sale. For just like 100, 510, something like that. They had them for sale because nobody wants the damn things on clearance. That should tell you a lot about the state of Nintendo right now, people. When goddamn stores are putting their shit on clearance, that says a lot about where Nintendo's at right now. Nobody wants their shit. But oh my god, Nintendo's the best ever, some guy will tell you. Well, guess what? If they were so great, why would they be on fucking clearance? That, that's a real question we gotta ask here, people. Because Nintendo stuff ain't that great. I'm sorry. Like, sorry, Nintendo fans, but... 
that's just how it is, people. Nintendo shit ain't that great. It's actually piling up in the stores unsold. You got Super Nintendo Classics. In fact, when I went to GameStop, they had Super Nintendo Classics in the damn store, too. Nobody was buying them. Nobody was buying these Super Nintendo Classics. I'm sorry, but the thing is, is 70, 80 bucks for something that's like $40 at Rite Aid or fucking CVS is a bit much if you ask me. But anyhow, yeah. Who gives a shit about Nintendo, people? Only a bunch of vocal neckbeards on the internet whose soy consumption's high, like a GameStop employee's is. In fact, one of the GameStop employees I saw, like had a soy boy voice, I'm not even kidding. And that should tell you everything, people. Thanks for watching, gamers, and subscribe for more. Now, I'm gonna be going home to play some fucking Xbox and PC and shit.